Hello friends! Today's ESO guide is going to be a farming run meant to earn tempering alloy, or perhaps more accurately rubidite ore to refine for tempering alloy. If you're new here, I am Zoko and I do videos and guides for ESO and other RPG and MMO games. If that is something that interests you and you would like to stay informed, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Also that bell next to it will enable notifications so that you know when I put out something new. Let's get to the route. So for this farming route, we are going to Hughes Bane. This is the area that opens up when you get the Thieves Guild DLC. So either purchasing that or having ESO Plus is gonna be what you want. Being that we are farming crafting materials, ESO Plus is definitely gonna be the preferred option for many. Immediately when I spawn from the Way Shrine, I drop behind for the node that spawns here. From here, we are going to head north and go up the hill, first to the left side and then across to the right. The add-on I am using is called Harvest Map and it marks nodes that I have gathered, which makes it a lot easier to find them again. There's going to be a small camp you can steal some cooking stuff from. Well, it's not really stealing by the game standards, but we all know this shit isn't ours. Down the hill a bit is another node, and from here we go across again. A couple nodes together moving up the hill. It's important to try and stay with the route. If you try and grab everything you see, you're just gonna ping pong all over the map. So staying on course is best for efficiency. If you're freaking out right now about the nodes you see off to the right, don't worry. We are actually headed back the way we came in just a second. And then I go into this little pathway and get two more before doubling back the way I came. We're going to end up looping back around next to the town or whatever we spawned next to initially. If you're watching this video with the goal of trying to make money, I have a couple other videos that may be better suited for that. One uh, being a route in Craglorn to get you at least 50k an hour or another one that just talks about some easy methods you can use to earn gold consistently. Obviously there are quite a few skeevers around so if you need leather you're going to be killing them too for sure. And this is actually run number three uh, with this route back to back and everything is still responding in an efficient manner. This can obviously change if somebody else is trying uh, to do the same thing. Maybe not this particular loop. Maybe they got their own thing. Uh, this is the loop that works really, really well for me. I'm also using Ring of the Wild Hunt, uh, which is how I am so speedy. Definitely helps with farming resources for sure. I do want to give everyone a heads up that Boulder's Gate 3 releases in a few days into early access and I will be giving that a go so expect some videos on that front probably sometime this week and next month when Cyberpunk 2077 finally comes out I will be going deep into that so I will be trying some new stuff not done with ESO by any stretch I just have some other RPGs I'm interested in and want to make content for. Now we are getting towards the end here. I may have missed some nodes and a few nooks and crannies here and there. Maybe you can improve upon the efficiency. I am of the mindset that true perfection is impossible to achieve and we can all strive to do better, always. If you have a better route, either here or elsewhere, and you would like to share to help some other people, leave a comment down below. ESO has a great community and it's important to give back. And now we are back at the Way Shrine where we started. If you are interested in a thieving route for some gold, then check out this humorous guide coming onto the screen right now. But other than that, thanks for watching. This really is a great spot. And again, if you found this helpful, please consider subscribing. Leaving a like and comment is also great. I'm Zoko, and I'll see you around.